So the next topic that we're going to be doing is called factoring. So factoring just means like rewriting um, with uh, different parts. Um, so for example, if I wanted to factor 10, the number 10, I can break that down into 5 times 2. Uh, right, so I just factored, right? I just basically just breaking it down. Uh, so refreshing your memory about greatest common factor, aka GCF. Um, what you're doing is you're looking for the factors of 10, uh, which the factors of 10 are 1, 10, uh, 2, and 5. Notice I wrote it like that, and the only reason why is so you can get basically f figure out like the pairs, so that way you can see if something's missing. Uh, so 1, 2, 5, and 10 are the factors of 10. Uh, the factors of 40, um, if I break that down, are 1, um, uh, somewhere over here I'm going to put 40, uh, 2 times 20, you see what I'm doing? Uh, that'll help me get all of them. 3 doesn't go into 40, but 4 does. 4 times 10 is 40. Uh, almost done. 5 times 8 is 40. Uh, 6 doesn't go into 47, doesn't go into 40. So by doing my pairs, doot, 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 right, I get all of them. Um, and then the factors of 20 for the last one. Now let's go ahead and use green, the factors of 20. Um, 1, comma, 20. Uh, 2, comma, 10. Uh, 3 doesn't go into 24 times 5. When the numbers get closer together, then that means that you can stop. Um, and so now what we're doing is we're looking for the greatest number that goes into both. Right? The greatest number that goes into both. Um, so if I look over here, I can see pretty clearly that 10, 10, and 10 is the biggest number um, that goes into all three of them. So the greatest number, the greatest common factor is 10. This is our answer. Okay, uh, for factor completely, you're going to do something similar. 3 and 7 don't have any common factors. x to the third means that there are three x's. Uh, x to the first means that there are one x's. So you look to see what's common. There's one x in both. So I'm going to take that x and I'm going to factor it out. Um, and then what you're doing to figure out uh, what's left inside is x times something gives you 3x to the third. So that's going to be 3x squared. Um, and the reason why is because 1, right, there's an imaginary 1 times 3 is 3. x times x squared, 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay. Um, to figure out what number goes here, uh, x times something equals 7x, and that number is 7. So right now I've factored my expression completely. Um, you'll get the hang of it the more you do this. Uh, looking at negative 81 and negative 36, I know that 9 goes into both. Uh, 12 goes into 36, but not into 81. Uh, so I would venture to say that 9 is our greatest common factor. So let's go ahead and factor out a 9. But since I see that both of these are negative, I'm going to factor out a negative 9. Um, wait, we're not done. Uh, so that's with the numbers. With uh, the variables, I see that there are three x's here. And I see that there are five x's here. Uh, so how many are common? There are three. Oops, skipping. There are three here and three here. So I'm going to factor out a nine x to the third. Uh, when I do that, I'm going to be left with nine times some number gives me eighty-one. Uh, that's nine times nine. So let's just verify that nine times positive nine, negative nine times positive nine is negative eighty-one. So that works. Uh, and then there's already x cubed here, so I'm done with that first number. I put a minus sign. Uh, negative 9 goes into negative 36 four times. Um, so I just needed to check myself, right? I'll, um, so I'll show you what I mean. So negative times a positive is a negative, so that works. But look, I messed up here. Negative times a negative is a positive. So this number, I mean this sign right here should be a positive 4. Um, and then here I have x to the fifth divided by x to the third, aka there are two x's remaining, so x to the second power. You should always check your work to make sure that you're right, so I'll do that in red. So again, negative 9 times positive 9 is negative 81, right? x to the third times nothing is just x to the third, so that first step works. And then when I distribute this, negative 9 times positive 4 is negative 36 x to the third times x to the second is x to the fifth. So both of them work. 
so I know that my answer is right. Um, over here, I have four x's. I have three x's here, so what's in common? Three x's. I have five y's here and two y's here, so what's common? Two y's. I'm going to write down what's left. So here, 4 minus 3 is 1x, or x to the first power. 5 minus 2 is 3, so that's y to the third. I have a plus sign here, clearly, so I'm going to put a plus sign. Um, x to the third divided by x to the third, they cancel out, which is a 1. y squared divided by y squared, they also cancel out, so I'm going to put a 1 here. Um, and then I can distribute to check. Since I want to write this better, I don't need to put that little 1 right there. So final answer is x cubed y squared, parentheses, x, y to the third, plus 1. That plus 1 has to be there, otherwise it is not correct. All right, moving on. So this is called uh, perfect squares. So perfect squares, I want to refresh your memory about what that means, right? 4 is a perfect square because 2 times 2 is 4. 49 is a perfect square because 7 times 7. Uh, 81 is a perfect square because 9 times 9. Uh, 18 is not a perfect square because no number times itself gives you 18. And the square root of 18 is going to be a number that keeps on going. Okay. All right. So over here, what I'm going to do is I see 100 is a perfect square. So I'm going to put a double bubble here. So what two numbers multiply to give me 100 that are the same? 10 and 10. Uh, the square root of x squared, or what gives me x squared when I multiply? x times x. Uh, this is a 1 here, square root of 1. What number multiplies to give me 1? 1 times 1. One of them has to be a positive, and one of them has to be a negative. So that way when you sit there and you FOIL it, which I want you to pause the video and do, you're going to get this answer back. Okay, over here, uh, very similar, square root of 49, or what number multiplies to give me 49? 7 and 7. What numbers multiply to give me x squared? x and x. One of them's positive, the other one's negative. Uh, so if you FOIL it, you also get this back. Okay, last problem. This is probably a combination of different things. Refreshing your memory, there's an imaginary 1 here. So 64 is a perfect square, and so is 1. But... There, what I'm going to look for to see is if there's anything that's common. Um, so no, there's nothing that's common. So I'm going to go ahead and put my double bubble over here. Square root of 64. 8 times 8 gives me 64. To get y to the 6th, y third, y third, because remember when I'm multiplying, I add my exponents. Um, 1 square root of 1 is just 1. Uh, to get x squared, it's an x and an x. Uh, one's a positive, one's a negative. So this right here is going to be your final answer. Okay, good job. Good luck factoring difference of perfect squares.